welcome back to Girl Talk with Flora Raina Bell. Amen. I got it right, Amen. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Ever did? <laughs> <laughs> Ever did? Got it right. Oh, I've been just messing her name up. I've been saying <laughs> Flora, and her real name is Flora. So, um, welcome back to Girl Talk. We're so glad that you're here. If you missed it at the break, we're going to be singly focused on the whole reason that we're here is to to really have a conversation around how you take the Word of God and marry it with everyday living in an authentic way and in a way that demonstrates that the Word is so alive and active. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite scriptures. The Word of God is alive and active. Yes, it is. Flora, we are bro- Flora. We we you brought in. Say, that might even be worse. <laughs> Flora, um, there's so much going on in the world right now. Mm-hmm. The woman with the issue of blood was born and existed at a time where it was male-dominated by men. At a time, um, as a Jewish woman, no one could touch her at that time because mm-hmm. she was not she was considered unclean. Yes, but it was not just her. If, if there were any other diseases, mm-hmm. what made her so strikingly different was that she'd had this issue for so long. Mm-hmm. She never gave up. Right. She remained very hopeful. She had heard the rumor of the gospel. Mm-hmm. She heard the word, except he was a living word. Mm-hmm. Jesus at that time was still there, and, 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 and she was aware that he was in her community. Mm-hmm. And she got rumored that he was what? Going to be tr- what? Coming into town. Coming into town. Not only just in town, yes. but that he would be traveling mm-hmm. nearby her. Yes. And in her mind, it was, I don't spend all my doggone money. <laughs> I don't go to all these crazy people trying to heal me. I ain't no better. I ain't better took all my money. <laughs> I'm living a life so far below where I've started. And I just am not hopeless, but I'm still hopeful. And we know she was hopeful. Um, when she knew that he was going to be passing by, mm-hmm. you know, the scripture bears it out. I'm taking some liberty with scripture, of course. And it says um, that she said, if I could but touch. So in the declaration, she had already declared that I know that if I could get to the living word, mm-hmm. I'd be healed. Right. And the reason she put if in there, and some of you now that know me, you know, I, I believe that the word has already been settled. It's no longer if, mm-hmm. it's when and I will. Because there were so many traditions during her time right. that the odds of her even getting anywhere close to a rabbi or, or any of that was going to be just crazy thinking. Because anything she touched mm-hmm. immediately was considered unclean. Mm-hmm. But she knew that if she was able to get there with all the obstacles against her, mm-hmm. that she would be made whole. And you know the rest of the story, right? Right. Not on. Uh-uh, she'll be healed. Yeah. She will. But, but the, the scripture goes on to say, not only was she healed, but she was made whole. Yes. But he went a little further. He then gave her a right standing and by calling her daughter. Mm-hmm. And then he said, go in peace, which meant no longer would you be the gossip of the town. No longer would you be unemployed. No longer would you not have any political power. Mm -hmm. So in some ways we could say that Jesus could be considered was one of the most radical. Yes, he was. The most radical men of God that has ever been on the universe. Mm -hmm. Because if you noticed... Jesus didn't run away, right, or go away because she touched him. Yes. He was not considered unclean. Mm-hmm. He was not considered unclean. No, he wasn't. So she was made clean, and Christ was not unclean. Mm-hmm. So here we are today. Let's talk about, you know this story very well. Mm-hmm. Where do you fit within this story, or do you fit within this story? Where? Where? Yes, I do. My issue was relationships. I not only relationship, 
My issue was not having enough money. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start with the relationship. My relationship was because I wanted someone to love me. Oh, yeah. I wanted someone to care for me. Every woman, right? Yes. I wanted someone to care for me. And so uh, I, uh, the first man that came along that I thought would look decent or look like somebody that said, I love you, I care for you, I'll be there for you. So I accepted as truth, not knowing that God had another plan for me. So I wouldn't accept his plan. I accept my plan because I thought I was doing the right thing. So then when you get into the relationship and you find out that you had a bigger issue because you're with somebody that don't care about you, they're only after one thing is your flesh. That's all they wanted. So here I am in a missed relationship, don't know how to get out, didn't have no one to talk to, cried every night. Only person I could talk to with God. I had no one in my life that I could want, walk, go to and touch. I yeah. said, look, I need your help. I need, I'm in a relationship that I need to get out of. And so people will come and tell me, you need to stop doing this. You need to let this man go. You need to, you don't need to be with him. But in my heart, the only one that will come, has your heart? What's going on in your heart? Not tell me what I don't need. I know what I don't need. How do I get out of this? I'm in a place that I don't want to be in. Stealing from me, taking things from me. You got to hide your pocketbook. You got to lock your pocketbook up because you never know what's going to happen next. So here I am in a terrible relationship for three years. It took God. Yeah. It took the grace of God. I said, God, if you ever show me a way of escape, I will never come back to this place again. So God showed me a way of escape, gave me a way of escape. What happened? The young man went to jail. That was my way of escape. I wrote him a letter. I said, don't write me again. Don't call me again. I'm through. I'm out of this. But listen to this. Before it took place, I had a conversation with him face to face. I'll show you how good God is. Because people would come to you in sheep clothing. Mm -hmm. And there's a river wood on the inside. And be careful who you let in your house or who you let in your heart. And because we as women, we accept the first person that come to us that say they love us, look somebody look like they're decent, because we don't want to go through the process. When we pray to God for a companion, we got to go through the process. We got to go through the process. So then, after then, that happened. When me, different men come in my life, my internal, spiritual internal go up. If you don't tell me about you, I'm going to find out about you. You can tell, talk to me all day long. You tell me what you want to tell me. You can say, I, I, I want to hear the truth about you. If you don't tell me the truth about you, then I know somebody that will. And we're going to be right back with Girl Talk. Woo! That is awesome. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back.